In this lesson, I will show you how you copy and get files and folders through the command prompt. So let's start. To copy files, you have the command called copy. So for example, here I will copy the test new file to the folder test new. So you type the command copy, then followed by the file name that you want to copy. Then to the place or to the destination that you want to copy the file. So I'll copy the file test new to the test new folder. To do so, you type the command copy, then followed by the name of the file. Then you have to type the extension. You have to type the extension of the file. So you have to type here dot txt because it's a file of a notepad. So we have to type its extension and it's dot txt. And then you want to copy this file to the folder test new. So as you see, the file has been copied. And now you want to cut this file test new, the folder test new. So I'll delete this file. To cut files and folders through the command prompt, use a command called move. So you have the command move, then followed by the name of the file that you want to cut. So here it is test new.txt and then the place or the destination that you want to get this file and it is here test new so as you see here it has been moved to this folder so to cut directories use the same command move for example here I want to cut the folder test new and I want to move to the test to new. So I type test to new. As you see here, the folder is empty. So you press enter. So you see the folder has moved to this folder. So to copy folders to another folders use the same command copy use the command x copy here so do so we type x copy then you want to copy the contents of the folder test new type test new and you want to copy test new folder to a test to new so you see we had here one file and you see we have got here too but how if you had here a folder a subfolder a subfolder inside this folder If you use the same command x copy and you want to copy the contents of the folder test new to the folder test to new and as you see here this folder is empty in the folder of the test new you have here a subfolder and a file and now you want to copy the contents of the test new folder the test to new you press enter and you see one file has been copied so so you see here the file has been copied but you see here the subfolder didn't came to the new folder didn't came to another folder so to do so use the same command x copy then followed by forward slash e then 
test new test to new you type a then you come here again and you see we have copied the subfolder and the file of the folder test new to the test to new so this command only it copies the contents of the folder to another folder but if you want to copy the same folder to another folder use the same command for example here on top x copy then I want followed by forward slash e and test new to test to then we don't type directly the name of the new destination or we want to copy this folder to another folder we want to copy this folder to the new place or to another place we won't type the name of that place directly we have to type it completely we have to type the destination of that folder completely for example here I want to copy the folder test new to the copy to, to the folder test to new so now I have to type the complete destination of this folder so you'll tap here C because it's in the C drive backslash then go to the users directory then to the teaching directory and to the desktop then you want to copy to the test to new and again followed by backslash and now you see here we want to copy this folder test new we type here test new and the press enter it asks us here that does this test new specify a file name or directory name on the target so you want it's a directory so we type d and now we come here and you see so as you see we have copied the folder test new to this new place it's a test to new so these are the ways to copy and cut files and folders to the command prompt